Come on, move. No bells, no buzzers. Come on, move. Control to Charlie 5. Control to Charlie 5. Vanguard Bank, King's Cross. Robbery in progress. Priority. That's us. Next right. We don't have to take that. What? Well, you're hardly back on duty. It's your first day out of the hospital. What are you, Jonah Ark? Charlie 5 on the way out. Down. What's that with her? Please, my mother. She needs a medicine. Still. <laughs> Won't be long, Ma. We'll soon be on our way. How much you paid for this? It was a present. Yank, eh? Well, it's a present to me now, Rockefeller. Redistribution of wealth. Long live the revolution, eh? Stay in the car. What do you mean, stay in the car? You just get out of the hospital. Stay in the car. Then I will. Hold in there, sir. Oh, I'm sorry. Is there any sign of movement? No exit at all. No, no reports are still in there. Still in there, sir. Now keep your heads down, right? <sighs> right, ready? Let's go. Riot trucks, marks, them. It all works. There's some kids in there. And these guys are preparing for World War III. Pretty soon it'll be satellite link-ups and they'll be signing us up for the movie rights. Oh, why don't we storm in there, Dempsey? Break in the window and wipe them out. It's not a bad idea. Thought you might say that. Tony, I got a better one. Cover me. Dempsey, I'm not going to your funeral. On principle! Let's talk, okay? One minute. Don't do nothing. Don't do nothing. Easy. I'm unarmed. I'm unarmed. Easy. Now, look, we, we could have a problem here, but if we talk, maybe we can avoid it. You know what I mean? Now, these guys out here, they're not too bright. You know? Know what I mean? They're a little fast on the trigger. We got hostages. Don't say that. You haven't got hostages yet, man. You've got innocent bystanders. I did not hear hostages, okay? Well, what you got to say then? They got men trained for this sort of thing. They got smoke bombs, they got stun grenades, they got machine guns, they got horrors you can't even imagine. What they don't have is much to do. So they get an opportunity like this. You catch my drift? Now, maybe we can cool it before it gets too heavy, huh? So... I see we have everything under control here. Cut it out. What's going on? Why don't you ask them? They know everything. A case of too many Indians and not enough chiefs. Well, I'll tell you something neither of you know. Inside that bank is one James Martin. President of the International Finance Federation? Mm-hmm. So what? Who's he? He's what he sounds like. Big. Which is why I'm here. 
You with this lot? Inside. May I help you? Chief Superintendent Spikings. By the powers invested in me, I am commandeering these premises for police activity. Where are you? You run this place? Yes. Switch that noise off. Switch it off. And get your friend away from the window. Get her out. Anything else? You know, you'd make a much better impression if you said please. Do it. I'm very sorry. No, I'm going to really have to you. ask you to leave. I'm very sorry. I'll come back tomorrow go. and I will fix it for you. Free of charge, of course. I'm awfully sorry. Get me the telephone number of the bank, Chaz. Telephone directory. Do you have one? Do we know how many are in there? Two or maybe three. Uh -huh. So what are the orders, sir? Yeah, what do you want us to do? Standard policy in a kidnap or hijack situation is no surrender. Equally, the lives of the hostages are of primary concern. You just cancelled yourself out. Not quite. I'm relying on the ingenuity and initiative of my operatives to devise a way in which we can have our cake and eat it. And when I say my operatives, that means you. Both of you. So why don't you go away and think about it? There at the man. Thank you, Sam. So the camera's out there. Not planning to wipe your mum on the evening news, are you? This is Chief Superintendent Spikings. Who am I talking to? It doesn't matter. We've got guns, we've got hostages, and none of us has got anything to lose, all right? What do you want? I want a coach to an airport and a plane to take us out of the country. The hostages get released when and where we land. Finished? For now. Right. Take down this number. 540 -1492. Did you hear what I said? You've got two hours. My name is Spikings. I'll be in touch. What'd he say? We get out of there, right? If we don't, we start popping heads. This staircase? Yes. All right, once from inside, we're down there. Through this corridor, oh. we arrive at this door. Yeah. Right. Once we're in there, we're clear. Yes, that's the door. Thanks, Thanks a lot. Okay, thank you. Okay. Found access on the roof. Watson, I figure we'll go in and try and surprise him. Yeah. Watson? Yep. Can't be done, sir. Urgent call, sir. Minister of State, Home Office. That's all I need. What's Watson doing here, sir? Dempsey asked for him. Why? Can you hear the what's going on here, Dempsey? You say something, Sergeant? I said, what's going on? Watson and I are going in. Why, Watson? Because this is up his alley, that's why. What do you take me for, Dempsey? Somebody who's fresh out of the hospital, that's who. If you need backup, I go with you. No way, no argument. May I remind you, Minister, that in these situations, standard policy is one of no surrender. Yes, sir, I do know who Martin is. <laughs> 